Hey everyone and welcome to the channel, my name is Ash and I'm back with another Halo TV show review, this time for episode 8, Allegiance. Now if you've not watched my episode 7 review, I highly recommend jumping uh, back onto the channel and watching that. I honestly said it was the worst episode of the season, it pretty much derailed the entire enthusiasm I had of the show and I wasn't looking forward to this episode. However, I can faithfully say that after watching season uh, one episode eight my enthusiasm is back on track and i am super pumped for the finale now i've seen a little bit of hate for this episode online uh, mainly from people who probably either are hardcore halo fans or they just haven't even watched the show because basically and the spoilers in this uh review master chief gets it on in the sheets uh, with Mackie, the Covenant spy girl. Um, and they made it out like, oh my god, he's like barebacking her or something like that. And that's not the case. They did a, it was a very sort of, it was a very sort of emotional scene between them. Like it, it was building up all the sort of feelings and emotions they had from obviously the past, past episodes where they were sort of connecting through the artifact and stuff. A lot of character building between both of them. Uh, there's a bit of a weird bit where like Cortana is sat there watching, and I don't understand that. Like a weird cook looking all like dishevelled, really weird that bit. Don't know why that to put that in, but there she is sat watching. Um, but like they say, after that, um, she sort of comes around to him. Maki um, realizes that she isn't just evil. Uh, like she, like a dog barks at her early in the episode, and she like flicks out a little laser sword finger um, but after that she sort of whips it out she she gets it on with Master Chief and then while he's uh, sleeping because obviously he's a man and he sleeps after sex like like he's comatosed uh, she manages to like go to the sink and like rips out this sort of laser thing out of her finger and it's proper grotesque and gross so if you're a fat weirdo and you've got your, your rocks on over the sort of love scene before and you definitely got soft uh, watching her do that but um it ends with basically she she um, agrees to work with Master Chief to sort of use the artifact to find the Covenant uh, to help the uh, the sort of the good guys. And while they're going to do that, um, Halsey interferes. She hacks into the system, sort of tries to convince her not to do it to give the uh, to basically get her Master Chief to take the artifacts elsewhere so Halsey can sort of deal with it and then humans should become gods and better than what they are and it all ends with obviously Halsey sort of triggering the um the Spartans against everyone else and um, they they knock out Kai because obviously Kai's like this doesn't seem right why are we getting Master Chief and stuff and then they go after Master Chief and he fights them obviously they're in full Spartan armor and obviously as with the Halo TV series uh Master Chief ain't he's always got his face out he gets his Gets a good fight with them, and uh, then Kai comes to the rescue after like kicking her way out of a handcuffed um, sort of prison that they've like fastened her to a, a seat or something like that, and she kicks her way out, and then she like comes flying in and saves him. Um, Mackie's gets sent off to call for help, but she goes to get help. Um, but Miranda there's realised, and she's sort of translated the sort of message from the ship, another one earlier in the season with the bug. Uh, the bug aliens I can't remember the name of and general uh slap my wrist for later um where Mackie was on there killed everyone it was really cool but she she sends a transmission from it she realizes it's her and then obviously as she's trying to get help Miranda's like no that was you on that so they sort of like force her down and then they like cattle prod her in the back where she's got her scars from getting cattle prodded as a child so it was ve that's the worst bit of the show I mean it was good how it happened but it was very sort of expected. It was like, oh, look, it's the, the same old thing of all oh, the humans have caused their own demise, basically, without trusting. Uh, they think they know best. Um, but basically, because they do that to her, she's like, I'm not fucking helping you. Activates the um, artifact and tells the Covenant where they are, because obviously they've been hiding on Reach. So, And that's how the episode ends, on a right cliffhanger. And I assume all the shit's going to go down on the finale and it could possibly, and I assume it leads to the fall of Reach. Um, it's a shame, like I say, I was liking the connection between uh, Mackie and Master Chief, but I don't think it's going to go anywhere further now. Um, there was no Quan in this episode, so a big uh, two thumbs up for lack of Quan. And 
I don't know how that's going to fit that whole waste of an episode before and all that uh, side plot, where that's going to fit in with what's happening now, unless she's going to suddenly come and save them all, which would be rubbish and doesn't make any sense. Um, but it, it was a very good episode, lots of character building. If you like Halo for being a run and gun shooter, you're probably not going to enjoy this episode, but it was nice to sort of see um, a lot more building it and stuff like that. And I'm really hyped now for the finale this Thursday, and I'll be doing a review once it's gone live. But like I say, if you've enjoyed this video, hit that like button, hit subscribe, and keep an eye out because the finale review will be up very soon. Bye for now.